it's, uh, it's great to be here at the Kennedy Space Center. Um, we are, once again, launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. And this is a big moment in time. It's been nine years since we've had this opportunity. And uh, Bob Cabana, we want to thank you for all the great work you've done getting us up to this point, getting the Kennedy Space Center ready. Uh, everything is, um, is looking good. We are, as of right now, we are go for launch. Uh, as Bettina said, the weather um, is about 60% favorable for launch tomorrow, which is good news. Compared to where we were yesterday, we were at 40%. So the trend is in the right direction. Um, and we are very, very excited. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about the go, no go process tomorrow? Who will be making those calls and who will we hear making those calls? So we have a, we have a mission management team that uh, is, is working the, uh, all the checks as we go through the process. And um, all along the way, people can say no go if they need to, but there will be a final countdown um, to, to the launch uh, where about 40, 45 seconds out, they'll, they'll, make a, they'll make a determination, go or no go, and, and, and then we will go. Bob, did you want to add to that? Yeah, I would just say that uh, it is a SpaceX launch. SpaceX is in the uh, firing room four in the launch control center uh, through a partnership we have with them. And it will be a, a, a SpaceX uh, launch director that uh, gives the final go after everybody is polled. And the NASA management team is going to be involved in watching closely. I'm, I'm wondering how many astronauts will be on site for launch tomorrow. I can imagine the entire astronaut corps emptying out of Houston. And how will you prevent launch fever from taking over on such a big mission with such high expectations with the President of the United States in attendance? Thank you. Uh, as far as the number of astronauts that are here, uh, we've, we've taken a lot of precaution to limit the number of people coming in general. Um, I don't know what the total number of astronauts that will be here is. Do you guys know offhand? It's, I think, under 10. Under Def 10. Definitely under 10. It's a okay. small number, yes. So it won't, it won't, we won't have a, a large contingent of astronauts here. Um, what was the second part of the question? Launch fever. Oh, launch say? fever. Absolutely. Look, uh, this, is a, this is a serious issue. And um, as a naval aviator, there's what we call get-home-itis. Uh, we have to make sure that we give permission, permission for people to say no. And I've been doing that all along. In fact, we've been so diligent about making sure people have the authority to say no. Um, we went ahead and, and, uh, and purchased a seat on a Soyuz rocket um, for, for October. Um, and we did that intentionally because we want people to feel free to say no and not feel any pressure to, to go on this launch. Um, I texted Bob and Doug yesterday, and I said to them very clearly, if you want me to stop this thing for any reason, say so. Um, I will stop it in a heartbeat if you want me to. Um, they both came back and they said, we're go for launch. <laughs> so um, they're, they're ready to go. But, um, but look, uh, part, part of my job as the NASA administrator is to make sure people understand that their safety is our highest priority and give everybody in the loop uh, permission to say no before before we launch. Did Bob or the astronauts, you guys? Um, you know, Marcia, just to your, to your point, we do have a small number of astronauts out here, obviously, just for the COVID concerns. Uh, but we're also able to virtually kind of deploy p folks in different areas. So I know there's a lot of the astronaut corps is, is prepared to support uh, media outlets, social media, um, you know, things that are online, whether it be live or, or just virtual. And so I think there's hopefully that there'll be a lot of opportunity for us to reach out to maybe a larger audience uh, than we normally would. Of course, we're not going to have the crowds here at KSC, but it is important that folks know that they can still experience the launch live with all of us just uh, through the communications assets that we have available. And I'll just throw out, I know the launch team, I know the commercial crew program, I know the folks that are on console, and uh, this is a test flight and they are going to make sure that it's uh, right before they launch and they're not they don't they're not concerned about who's here to see it they're concerned about doing their job and doing it correctly and uh, they've practiced this and they'll do the right thing